Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today will be the weekly budget review. This is the third week of June and I have been doing one every single week just to update, just to show you guys how my budget is going. Now, just to give you guys a little recap of the past weeks, it was not bad um, for week one and two. However, week three was not so good for me. And I'll show you guys in a second what I mean. I kind of got all over the place with it. Um, I went over on my budget and that's okay because the things I got were needed, but I guess I didn't plan them. So. It's been a long time since I have budgeted. It's been a couple years since I've done that. Um, I've been, the reason I actually started budgeting is because the inspiration kind of came from the fact that I love to travel a lot. And so when you know how much your money is worth in another country, you begin to realize how a lot of the money you're spending isn't necessary and how that extra money could go towards more travel at least for myself that's what i like to do so whatever inspires you whatever motivates you then make that your priority whether it's just being debt free or whether it's something as small as maybe getting a new cell phone or getting a facial whatever it is that you're looking forward to saving for um i would definitely make sure to constantly keep thinking about it because that's really what is helping me and what made me restart my budgeting journey so i'm going to show you guys what is going on so this week's a bit confusing now it's good because this is my first month budgeting again and so it's pretty much a trial period for me to just figure out amounts and budgeting and how it's all going to work for me now I love my setup and I'm not changing that however I am changing this paper setup and I mentioned that in my last video which I'm super excited to start my new budget for July I don't know about you guys but every time it's the start of the new month I get super excited to you know start budgeting even though the month has not ended it just it's a motivation just to start out fresh and you feel so much more motivated so at this point i'm ready to just finish off june and get ready on to july now the way i budget um for the weeks it ends up being five weeks for june so i have two more weeks left until i finish my june budget so the reason why i went over <sighs> okay so let's start first with groceries now i had mentioned to you guys that i didn't have the correct um, denominations for the cash and so that's going to change for next month that's one of the things so i only had um like a total of a hundred dollars and my weekly budget for groceries is 85 so i ended up taking 100 was supposed to bring back 15 i ended up bringing five so not only did i go over budget i'm missing ten dollars i actually ended up spending a lot more and i ended up using my credit card for that so if you guys saw my summer fun activities budgeted activities with my son very simple like you know go outside and you know i purchased a slip and slide and then i'm making every week like a homemade snack with him whether it's chocolate chip cookies s'mores homemade ice cream just a bunch of fun different things where you know it's fun to make we can make them together and just spend some time as a family indoors doing something fun and then it's educational as well so I needed a lot of pantry items now the first stores I usually shop at weekly are Trader Joe's and Sprouts it's not every time but Sprouts for sure is the main store that I always shop at so I ended up spending $39.28 
And then at Trader Joe's, I ended up spending $54.82. So again, I was already over budget with that. Um, so those were my two main um, expenses for my groceries for the week. But then I ended up going to Aldi. I had in mind going to these three stores to purchase um, a couple things from each store. I usually make out my meal plan based off of what's on sale from the weekly flyers because one, it makes it easy to plan a meal because you'll know the prices and so I pretty much will know my budget for the week. I'll know if I'm gonna be under budget and I can try to go under budget by just choosing more um, cheaper, you know, meals. So that's why I usually have to go to a couple different stores because each store has a couple different things that I need. So anyways, this was part of my grocery haul and I needed a couple things from Aldi as well. They were part of the budget, but for some reason, I can't remember where I went wrong, um, but somehow I ended up under budgeting. So... Aldi was supposed to be part of it, but when I went to Aldi, I was just supposed to go in for like $20 or, or $15 worth of food, which would have not put me so much over budget, but this is a long list. I bought like 60 items or something, and the problem is I ended up getting some of the things for my next week's meal plan and so I should have just waited but I was so lazy that I didn't want to go back to the store so I ended up just buying things and I needed a lot of pantry items as well so I bought a lot of pantry items to stock up and then I found um, the slip and slide for my son which I had already purchased and used out of the house budget however I found a cooler one at Aldi that was a three slide instead of a two slide and it included a ramp and it was for like the same price Price. Um, so it was $14.99 at Aldi for the, the slide that was the two slide at Walmart for $14.99. So I'm actually going to be returning the slide from Walmart and getting that money back. So technically this should be, you know, 15 and some change less so i ended up spending a hundred dollars and 26 cents the problem is um did not buy it separately i just kind of purchased everything together and i ended up buying some aluminum foil a paper towel and some plastic wrap which is part of my household budget so again i really messed up because i just bought everything together and yeah so for this one i'm just going to count it under groceries as being over budgeted because to separate all these items I think it's just a little insane I just know going forward that I'm going to have to adjust the way I do my house budget um, and my grocery budget so that's something to work on for next month so as always I just take out all of the change and I put this inside my cash box my cash box, for those of you guys that are new, I end up storing the extra change in there that I get the coins because at the end of the month, I'm going to wrap them up and then deposit them into my savings as just some extra savings. And then that also includes um, any dollars that I have left over for the week. I don't roll them over. So for example, say I was under budget this week and my budget's 85, but say I went and spent only $80. I have $5 remaining in here. Then I'll take the $5 and then put them to the side in my cash box as part of my end of the month deposit. And so um, I'm excited to see how much money I will be gathering at the end of the month. So that's groceries. And then fun. That's another one to talk about. Like I said, it was a little bit of a bad week. We had Father's Day. And 
I didn't budget correctly, of course. I was watching a couple other people's videos, and they also mentioned that they completely forgot to budget for Father's Day. I'm not sure why. I budgeted one of the things for Father's Day, but not all of it. I don't do the zero base budget. I don't have credit card debt, so um, mainly my purpose for budgeting is just to save money, do investments, and... Yeah, just lower a lot of costs. I always have extra money in the bank for, you know, unexpected or unbudgeted purposes. So we'll start with this one here. $100.26 plus $54.82 plus $39.28. So I spent $194.36. So as you can tell, I was definitely over budget, but they were items that were necessary. And so, like I said, now I know that I need to budget a bit differently for fun activities for next month since I am doing all those. Um, fun summer activities. So, I went over $109.36 for the week. And the remaining is zero because this is a weekly budget. This is not my monthly budget. So then for fun, we have $40.00 for every week and that one I feel like we might have to adjust starting next month so for fun we'll go over that now I had mentioned that I have budgeted $350 a month on fun I take away $150 for a restaurant that we like to eat at Every month we go there, it's just family time. We go take my mom and my dad out to eat. Um, they're a lot older and they do not have a lot of money to go out to eat to restaurants. So we like to take them out and just spend time with them and enjoy some good seafood. Um, so yeah, so we budget $150 every month. And so I put the $150 to the side and then from there, I end up spending an additional $200 for the month. And I end up separating that based off of how many weeks there are in that month. So for me, for June, there's a total of five weeks the way I budget. Um, because my budget goes from Saturday to Friday. And so... Um, that is the reason why so it ends up working out to be five weeks for june and divided the 200 dollars divided by the five weeks so i get 40 dollars a week and so this time for father's day we saved the um restaurant outing to use for father's day instead my dad likes to go there anyways so we took him out for father's day there so like i said um I put this aside and then I just put it in my cash envelope whenever I know that we're going to be going out to eat to that place. Now, I budget $150. It's usually less than this. And so what I plan to do is just to take out how much ever I actually used. So I actually charge my credit card because we are splitting the bill with my brother. He uses a credit card and not cash. And I feel that it's a little too complicated for um, the staff at the restaurant to figure it out. So I figure we'll just use our credit card. And as soon as I know how much I have to pay after tip, then anything remain, I'll deposit the exact amount in back into my bank and then the extra money will go towards the end of the month deposit of savings. So out of the $150, so I ended up spending $118.98. So I'm going to round this out. I'm just going to deposit $119 and then I'll keep the rest, put it to the end deposit. 
So for fun. And the reason I'm not going to count it is because it's not part of my weekly budget. It's part of my monthly budget. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I did use that. And I will be putting that money to the side. So for fun, we actually went to the movie theaters. We went to see Incredibles 2. My son has been super psyched to watch it. And so one thing that I forgot to add to my budget last week was the movie tickets. So like I said, um, I'm really trying to work with my budget and really counting the things that I purchase with my card as opposed to cash. Because a lot of the things, um, like fun things, um, I end up purchasing online or if I have to purchase something from Amazon that's also online and I'm not using cash so I, I have to remember to track those here but again um, it happened so it's fine so we just bought some popcorn for my son and then I took in some bottled waters and I took in a can of coke for my husband I took my son some gummy bears that I had and so yeah I really made sure that we didn't spend any money there because right after we ended up picking up some takeout and taking it home. Um, one, the food inside the movie theaters is disgusting and it's expensive. So we go to one of those um, dine-in movie theaters which are super fun but you know before we used to just buy a bunch of stuff just to buy it and it wasn't even good we would spend like 60 or 70 dollars which was pointless so i refuse to do that now and so we only bought a bucket of popcorn and we literally all shared it we refilled it like twice and we added some hot sauce they have hot sauce to provide there so anyways that was pretty interesting so 8.69 and then we got this is the unbudgeted part um right after father's day um my husband ended up wanting to get some taco bell for his father's day present because we don't give each other presents we just kind of use that money for travel so my husband's not the type of person to care for gifts or anything like that but he does enjoy food so he decided he wanted taco bell for father's day so he was a cheap date for father's day so he just went and picked up some taco bell and took it home and so that was 25.99 and then we bought some pizza and that was $19.75. So I ended up spending $54.43. And that was negative $14.43. And I don't have any remaining for the week. I completely forgot to write this in red and it just will reflect or just kind of stand out that I spent money I shouldn't spend. So I really want to make sure next month that I budget for all the fun activities that are going to go on. So I'm going to start making a list of what I want to do for the month and then budget accordingly from there. I think the important thing is to acknowledge that you're overspending and just kind of try to figure out why you're overspending sometimes it's not because you're doing bad it's really because you're still trying to figure out how your budget will work for you and how much money you really do need now you don't want to starve yourself and i know a lot of people can live on a lot less than what we are living we are only a family of three but honestly guys I have knocked down this at least by 50%. I would say a month, and that doesn't include takeout, we would spend $1,200 to $1,300 on groceries, just would buy whatever, had no meal plan, would just spend money that I didn't need to, didn't eat the food, or bought a lot of crap 
crap food which wasn't doing us any good for our health and yet still couldn't find anything in the fridge to eat because of course when you buy things randomly you don't have an actual meal plan to make all of the recipes you don't have all the ingredients so we would a lot of times not make the food it would go bad i would throw so much produce and i'm so embarrassed to talk about it but that's the reality um and i'm okay to admit it the important thing is that i have stopped that one because it's wrong you know obviously it's wrong to throw away food and two for budgeting reasons obviously i'm saving a lot of money so we also used to go out and honestly we would spend almost a thousand dollars on top of that so we would spend two thousand two hundred to two thousand five hundred dollars a month on groceries and eating out you know and having fun and that's ridiculous so like i said my budget for the month is only five hundred and fifty dollars for groceries and for fun it's three hundred and fifty so it's pretty much like 50% less. So that's a good accomplishment. Next month I'm excited because I'm going to be doing something different with my grocery budget. And hopefully that works out for me. I'm trying to get even more frugal with that. So gas. I actually finally filled up the gas tank. We finally needed gas. I feel like for gas it depends on where you fill up because i noticed that sometimes some of the um gas stations my gas will last more some of it will last some of them will last a lot less so for some reason the last gas station that i put gas at lasted me for a really long time so my monthly budget for gas i don't budget weekly for gas because it is what it is and I don't need to watch out for that it's you know gas is obviously a need so these two are my main big ones that I like to watch out for and for gas I ended up spending $50 and so I didn't go over budget of course and I have $70 remaining for gas and I just throw the receipts as I write them down. Now for house, I don't have any remaining for house from the last one. So I actually did not buy anything for house at all. And I have zero dollars remaining. It's pretty much just for my son. $20 for his haircut. My husband doesn't have any hair. I'm not doing my nails, obviously. I only do my nails when it's a special occasion or when um, right before we're traveling. So I'm not traveling until September and then in December. So in September, we're going to Japan and in December, we are going to Thailand. So just to let you know, I will be doing a giveaway in September that I'm really excited about because as you know, this is a budgeting and a planner channel and organization and all of that. And I obviously love stationery as much as everybody else does. And what better place to get stationery than in Japan? So anyways, we talked enough. My son did not get a haircut yet. So I still have $20. We're probably going to get him a haircut this week. His hair hasn't grown as much, so he's still fine. And for my parents, pretty much we give the, we have $150 for the month for them. We don't live with my parents, but I make small contributions to them. I give $50 to them for the rent increase that they have. Another $50 is split both ways. My mom and my dad each get $25, and then the extra $50 every two weeks, I go and buy fresh produce for them. So I end up spending $25 every two weeks for them for my contribution. So as you can see, $150 goes a long way. So from last week, I only had $50 left, which was my grocery store contribution to them. And I did go grocery shopping and I spent 
$25 for them. I went to Sprout and bought them a whole bunch of stuff. So unplanned. Another unplanned expense for me that doesn't fit any of these categories. We'll start here. So for unplanned, I don't ever have a budget for that. So anyways, um, we had an expense. Every year on my sister's death anniversary, we go to the cemetery and we spend the day with her there. I buy her a lot of flowers and we just make some food and stay there as a family so my whole family gets together and then afterwards we usually go out to eat but um, I completely forgot to plan for her flowers that I get every year so um, I ended up going to Trader Joe's and spending $32.27. So I got her some flowers. And then the second unplanned expense was some beer. Not counted under groceries because alcohol, we don't buy alcohol. Um, just usually when my brother's over or my brother's around, um, he does like to drink. And so him and my husband will have some beers. And so this pretty much was on the day of my sister's death anniversary. Obviously, it's a depressing time for our family. And yeah, so there, hence the beer situation. Fine. Um, I wanted to buy that. And so... We were at $47.98 over budget, so I didn't have anything planned. $47.98, so I was obviously negative $47.98. Now, the other thing I did want to mention is I bought a couple of things for next month's budget on Amazon that I needed. Um for my happy planner and uh, a couple other things. So I did spend some money. I needed some lamps and things like that because my lighting is really off. So I technically should have put them under unplanned, but like I said, I've been forgetting to track anything on, of my online purchases, but because they are needed, I didn't feel that it was so bad to not include them in this budget because again I'm trying to remember to track my online spending but the only time I spend online is pretty much Amazon and it's just for things that I need for the house so like I said next month I will definitely make sure to plan accordingly so yeah that's pretty much it for the week um, as you can tell I mean my total of unbudgeted pretty much ended up being a total of a hundred and seventy one dollars and seventy seven cents but they were def these were definitely things that were needed and probably minus the beer so for groceries we will be doing eighty five dollars and again i don't have the correct denomination that will change next month so for groceries this time I have to make sure I bring back $15 so that's that for groceries and then the only other one I have to put in is fun so I have 5 10 20 30 and 40 And if you are interested in any of these products that I have, I bought these on Amazon and the links will be down below for you guys if you guys are interested. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of all over the place this time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know how your budget is going, what you guys think of your budget for the month, and if you guys are super excited like I am for July's budget of Fresh Start. And if you have not subscribed yet, 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will link a couple other videos at the end of this video for you guys to check out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!